And you say that love is the answer. Uh, politics of love is a handbook for a new revolution. All that you've outlined just then, I mean, even calling capitalism into question, no, these I, are crises. I, I'm, a cap I'm for capitalism with a conscience. So when you say calling capitalism into, into question, I don't call it into question any more than Ray Dalio or Jeremy Gratham, Grantham, some of the main capitalist leaders. You yourself have talked about economics, but how a capitalism needs to have an ethical center. So that's, that's not calling into question the inherent uh, dynamic. There. But how do we correct all of this <clears throat> with love? Love is an amazing idea, an incredible sentiment, but if you said that to people who are suffering in this country, do they believe love is the answer? Yeah, and I have a 35-year career helping people transform from trauma to transformation. First of all, on a political field, are we going to say that hatred has not been operationalized? What do you call ISIS if not hatred turned into a, a, a political force? What do you call uh, racism? What do you call Nazis? What do you call these people marching through the streets of Charlottesville saying, Jews shall not replace us? This is bigotry, racism, anti-Semitism turned into a political force. We can also turn love, and just love has attributes, just like hatred does, like justice, mass incarceration. That is a lack of love turned into a political force. Economic injustice, where through, through tax policies and corporate subsidies, we, we systematically remove the major parts of the, of the public treasury into the hands of a very few people. That is the absence of love operationalized. Helping the children. I want to have a department of children and youth because of the millions of American children who live in chronic trauma. That's love operationalized. We must wage peace around the world, not just prepare for war, expand economic opportunities for women, expand educational opportunities for children, diminish human suffering wherever possible. That is love operationalized. Love has an operationalized strategic policy component every much, every bit as much as fear does and greed does and amoral economic and political behavior does.